Yo, this bun barely survived the video, okay? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I was doing some IG unboxings and I had a bunch of new makeup to play with so I was like, what a better way to play than to put it on my face. Plus, I've been really loving like these monochromatic eyeshadow palettes that ColourPop has been releasing. So we just did the yellow look and then I got this orange one and I was like, I wanna do an orange look because to me, Doing these like one eyeshadow focused color looks is the easiest way for me to incorporate color into my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we jump into today's video, I quickly want to mention to you guys my Audible pick of the month. If you don't know, I've been partnered with Audible for a really long time now. So if you guys wanna get started with them, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, or you can text Nicole to 500, 500 Anything you want, they've got it. I currently, this is not something that I usually listen to. Usually, oh, we, we match the Audible app today, I'm orange. Usually. I I don't listen to thrillers, but when we flew to LA, I was like, there was nothing really good to watch on the plane. So I downloaded The Girl on the Train. Nothing good to watch on the plane, so I downloaded The Girl on the Train, which I've never seen the movie. I do know it is a movie, but I personally like to listen first. And I actually finished this. I listened to half of it on the way there and half of it on the way back. It is so good. Like I was on the plane like this. <laughs> But really, really good book. I'm not gonna give it away. I mean, I'm sure some of you already know what it is, but I do recommend it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've never really listened to thrillers, but it, I was into it the whole entire way. Like I said, I was on the plane like, Nobody talk to me. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet. I also really like with Audible, if you don't really like the book, you can exchange it for free. It's just really nice to listen to an audiobook because to me, it like takes me to that place. Anything that I'm listening to, I'm the main character. So I was the girl on the train and I didn't know what was about to happen next. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys wanna check out the book that I just listened to, which again is Girl on the Train, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, or again, you can text Nicole to 500-500 and you're in there. Beeb just ordered a salad. I think the salads are here, I just heard the door beep. All right, let's stop playing around and jump into today's video. I look like a character out of Orange is the New Black, that's okay. This it was the only orange shirt that I had, and when I do a monochromatic look, I like to wear the same color shirt, you know? Vibes. I like wearing my hair like this, like with my bun and my bangs out, but then I realize when I do a makeup tutorial, I have to have my bangs out of my face, and I just look like a little schmeeb when I tuck them behind my ears. <laughs> okay, now that I've messed with this bun for 18 minutes, we can start. <laughs> so I'm gonna moisturize first, and this is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This is basically the only not new thing that I'm going to apply to my face today. It's pretty new for me as like, um, before I put on my makeup moisturizer, but I have used this cream before, I just haven't used it in a while. But I do like it underneath my makeup. I'm just gonna apply that onto the skin. I'm just gonna let that junk elephant sit on the skin for just a second before we put our foundation on. I was like, what the heck? But it was the shadow from this hoop. Yo, snake. So next we're gonna try out the new Pat McGrath primer foundation and then some point in the video the actual powder This is the skin fetish sublime Perfection primer and it says that this is a water-based primer. Let me look. Let me look. Let me water soluble purified botanical extracts perform on multiple fronts to refine the appearance of pores as this luxe water-based formulations awakens and refreshes for visibly smooth skin with a velvety matte finish it feels very hydrating on the skin it has like a very subtle scent to it for foundation this is the sublime perfection foundation I have it in two shades light medium 13 and 14 I put them both on my skin earlier like right when I got them and I couldn't really tell a difference in the two colors because I am more on the fair side I'm gonna just go with light medium 13 I also have a medium 15 which we're gonna save that for when I'm a little more tan you know fake tan. I scrubbed it all off last night, um, so we're gonna go with the lightest shade that I have, which again is light medium 13. This is the Pat McGrath brush, the foundation brush that you're supposed to use. I think I actually am gonna try it with the brush because I like to try foundations with their brush, even though most of the time I do apply all my foundations with a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna apply this like I apply all my foundations. I just start, oh, it's very, 
Oh, it's very liquidy. I'm just gonna start pushing this into the skin. This comes in 36 shades and it has five shade levels for all skin types, tones, and undertones. And it's a sheer to medium buildable coverage. It is self-setting and long wearing and it has a satin finish that lasts all day long. This is a, this has a diamond core powder technology which is supposed to improve skin texture and it has a smoothing and blurring appearance for fine lines and imperfections. So this is one layer of foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer of foundation because I'm trying to get a full coverage look from this. And it's already starting to look more full coverage with just this second layer. At first I wasn't too sure about the wateriness, but I do think that I like it just for the layering purposes. The fact that it feels so light, I think that you could build this up to three layers. I don't feel the need to, though I feel like I got a pretty good full coverage look out of it for it. I feel like this is a good amount of full coverage for me. Next time I use it, I am going to try to apply it with a beauty blender to see if that makes any difference, but I do like this little brush. I'm going to use my Holy Grail brow pencil. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. And I'm gonna do these things off camera, okay? Because I need to make a phone call and it's boring. <laughs> no brows? To brows on, okay. This is the star of the show. I'm really into these ColourPop like little monochromatic mini palettes. This one is Orange You Glad. Makes sense, makes sense. I think I wanna go with Rise and Grind. I originally wanted to go with Mimosa Mami. Mm. Okay, me, Masa, mommy. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with Rise and Grind. You know, keep it easy. So I'm gonna pick this up first with a flat, oh, hello pigment. Dang. And we are first going to apply this on our lid and then work our way up. I just find it easier that way when I'm working with one tone, especially a colorful one. That's pretty. Okay, boo boo mama. Okay, you'll open the door yourself. You got it? You go, girl. I like to start at my lash line and then work my way up to my crease so that it gets softer and softer the higher it goes up. I'm into this orange, okay. Again, I'm just really pushing the color onto my lid. I'm not so much worrying about blending right now as I am worrying about getting the color on. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just pick up a little bit of that and start working this out. Now I know this looks like it's got purple on it, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna take a clean brush. Mm, yep. Yeah. Mm. Should we put on some long ass lashes? Like these double ups from Ardell. First, I'm gonna put on a little mascara. So we're gonna put these guys on. And I'm actually gonna use my white duo because my dark tone is in my bag. Dang, I don't know the last time I used white glue. Even when I first started applying lashes, I would use dark glue because if my eyes just like it, just push better. And then you know I'm always pushing my lash up to make sure we get the open eye effect and not the droopy eye effect. Your lashes are long. I normally wear like the demi wispies, so anything longer than those, I'm just like. <laughs> For concealer, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I don't know if I've used this before, maybe once or twice, but it's not like a uh, concealer that I'm using on the regular. And I'm using this in 2N. Oh, that feels nice. And then I'm just gonna stipple this out. And a little bit right here, whatever is left over. I just feel alive after my concealer is on. Concealer. Am I saying that funny? <laughs> Sounds like it. I lied about using all new products. I am gonna use a little bit of the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. I'm gonna use this new little Milani brush though to put that underneath my eyes. Ooh, I knew I was gonna like this little Milani brush. I'm always looking for like the most perfect under eye brush, always. This brush holds powder really well. So this is from Milani and this is their all over blending brush, but it's perfect for under here and it held powder 
really good. We are going to set the rest of our face with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. We are going to use the shade Light Medium. Let's get a little ASMR action going. Mm. Has like a little sifter in there, and I'm gonna use the actual brush. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa day. And then we're just gonna push this on to the skin. <laughs> a little much, it's okay. And it says it's buildable, which is really nice. I do think that I look a little smoother now that this powder is on. I'm gonna fluff these brows because I just can't take it any longer. <laughs> Another reason that I really like the Benefit Brow Pencil is when I add the gel to give them the more fluffy effect. Some other brow pencils have like moved and slid off, but the Benefit one really hangs on tight and I don't lose a lot of the shape um, or the filling in, which I like. Like it sucks when you go to fluff your brows and then you move your product around so this one like really stays. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Sunkissed as well from the Orangey Glad palette, just to add a little bit more of an orangey tone to our cheek, because I feel like we're a little pink and I wanna be a little more orangey. Yay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to the bottom. I'm not gonna do anything on the bottom, like I'm not gonna put any orange eyeshadow or anything. I'm just going to hit these lower lashes with a little bit of mascara. Oh, hi girl, hey girl, hey. Nice to see you. So I'm gonna first line my lips with the new Carly Bible and Il Maquillage collab. This is her waterproof liner in Luna. Already love it, already love it. I'm gonna do a little bit of this and then we'll work it out and see what we got going. I'm also gonna use Mom's Libra lipstick. This is a matte lip color. I almost don't want to because it looks so beautiful, but we gonna do it. We gonna do it. That's nice. And I'm just gonna blend. Ah! Should we add a little orange to this? This little lippy stick? Oh yeah, why not? Oh. Oh, I like the CNR. This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Chi Chi. <laughs> and then for gloss, I'm gonna use this So Juicy Plumping Gloss from ColourPop as well, and this one is called For the Clout. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Using just one eyeshadow color has really helped me kind of incorporate, like I said, a little more color into my life. I think that is it for me. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you, and I will see you super soon in another video. Bye, guys.